Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Creative Verse. I join you on this beautiful witching hour to show you magic. Magic in the making. So it turns out if you put a bunch of tar into like one area, let's see if it works to make sure, because I don't know how it works with like the viscosity and shit. But um, let me throw it in the middle, see what the distance is on that. Yeah, fucking freezes that shit. Turns it into coal, which is awesome. But I won't be wasting that again like I just did. So what we're going to do is light the rest of this she is on fire. This went, what, three blocks out? So right about here should be fine. Perfect. And then it turns into diamond when you do that. So I'm glad that that worked flawlessly. <laughs> Because that would have been fucking awkward otherwise. But, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna harvest that shit in a minute. So my coal problems have been pretty much permanently resolved now, since I have that tar pit. This is, uh, yeah, it's gonna be very annoying very quickly. So, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. So, with ice bombs and fire bombs, you can essentially infinitely farm coal and diamonds that way. So, it's a very useful strat. So, as for today's little session on what we're going to be doing, I'm gonna stock up on a couple of potions and stuff before we go back into the lava zone and we're gonna explore it a little bit more thoroughly. I tell you though man, it is awful trying to fucking move around in this shit and I can't, like, it just hangs when I move randomly and then I just look like an idiot when I'm moving. It's awful. It's kind of creepy because your character, like, falls asleep with their eyes open in this game, so it's, like, always the weirdest thing in the world to me. I gotta make more extractors, too. Did I bring potions? I didn't bring potions, did I? I wasn't smart enough to bring potions. Oopsie-daisy. Well, time to backtrack. Alright, we're gonna fix this thing that I said that I was going to fix episodes upon episodes ago. Because this smacking my head on every block on the way down shit is just not working anymore. And I do this literally in every Minecraft clone that I ever play, too. Like, it is so bad, I will keep continually, like, passing that off and just smacking my head in everything as I'm walking, like, through these places. It's such a bad habit. Alrighty, well, let's move on, shall we? I thought I heard uh, heard my extractor going off there for a minute. Thought that I had like an extractor somewhere I couldn't see, but that does not seem to be the case. We're gonna put on this diamond extractor. Yeah, there it is all over again.
We're gonna go attack that thing. Unless he just, like, disappears and jumps, like, through the skybox somehow from underground. That was truly magical, ladies and gentlemen. I do need some warm worm teeth, so I'm gonna go and smack him. Sounded like I was hearing shit behind me. I didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. So we do have some material water on us, or mineral water, rather. So I do have some immediate health regen as it is needed. This looks like some Miru off in the distance over there. More Miru. Alright, well. Bottoms up, bitches. Let's do this. I don't understand how they just kind of fly up in the air and disappear. It's also incredibly hard to chase after something and accurately take it down when you're fucking hanging every four seconds. It's pretty hard. Always could use more sulfur too since it is a lovely ass fuel apparently. I mean, I'm not like, not like I'm surprised at all, but I don't remember like reading it anywhere, so I, I realized when it was a fuel, I was like, oh, that's awesome, it's a fuel. Oh, diamond, cool. It's almost a shame that I don't need any. It's giving me some Diablo vibes, that really deep, like, fucking bassy tone in the background there. It's giving me some wicked Diablo vibes. I don't want to completely light up everything, though, because I do still want mobs to spawn down here, which is fairly important. At least to me. Oh. Is this all fucking stalactite layer above me? Yeah, well that's siltstone and stalactite, so yeah. All right. Grab more of this shit, then. Could always use more. We're gonna go further in, though, because why the fuck not? More tourmaline is always a good thing. We're just gonna load up on everything that's, like, not fucking nailed to the floor, essentially. Just pick everything up off of the ground. Why the hell not? Loads of sulfur. It's like breathing in sulfur, guys.
It's funny because it's lyrics to a song. Got some more diamond down here. How are we doing on igneous and uh, hardened lava? Cool. Alright. We'll take that. If we were to go any deeper, though, we would definitely find, like, oodles of fucking, um... What's the word I'm looking for? We would find oodles of corruption shits, and honestly, I, I don't want to touch corruption. There are some evil ass things in the corruption layer. And it is just literally not a world that I want to be fucking with right now. Jesus, man. How much sulfur could possibly be down here? Not to be mixed up with complaining, of course. Oh no, I'm trapped. I've fallen and I can't get up. Just kidding, I have mining tools that can get me out of these situations. More diamond. I literally could never need any more diamond, ever. No matter how hard I fucking tried. This is ridiculous. It's crazy. I love it. There's so much diamond on this layer. The thing I was hoping to bump into more of, honestly, though, was, um... Not even diamond. I was hoping to find more iron. Which I don't see any on this end of the cave. Literally, yeah, I don't see it. Oh, that's, uh, did I see that properly? Is that like a cave leading on in a further wonder and mysterium? It looks like it. We're gonna go into this cave because we're stupid and we can totally fucking tempt fate with ah oh god ah hit him hit the damn thing just face tank and we'll be fine face tank and we'll be fine oh god we are not fine we are not fine we're backing out of that cave I need some fucking mineral water to be able to bring me back up to full HP before I fight another one like that. They're too hard to dodge. At least, they're too hard for me to dodge. Yeah, that's, that's where the iron was, right. So, let's build up to the ceiling from there and grab that iron. And then we can call it a day. Yeah, I think, I think we're good after we do that, so... I don't even know if hot feet have a specific drop to them, to be honest with you. I've killed a couple of them now, and they don't seem to drop anything particularly of interest. This could be incredibly dangerous. And by could, I mean will be incredibly dangerous, and I'm going to get myself killed over it. The thing that is awesome about Creativerse, though, is that they don't have a broken crouch mechanic like fucking Boundless does. And Boundless was awful for that. I had fallen into so many, so many pits of magma because the crouch just didn't work for some reason. 
And really, you just, you can't have that. And we're gonna use our super extractors because I still have super extractors and I need things. It's kinda, that's the point of it, you know? I don't see any point whatsoever in just hoarding all of those super extractors and never using them. Might as well make use of them now, and I get them from daily chest rewards, so... Life's been pretty good in the extractor department. Jesus, 18 each one, though? Uh, you know what? I might as well just wait this out, and I'll just cut it. And I think it said I needed a Lumite. Yeah, I need the, the Lumite mining cell to grab magma, right? Yep. Well, we'll explore further in that direction, then. That scared the shit out of me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's already caught me. I have been had. Alright. So he does drop like a couple of good things. It's more like random things though. It's just nothing that's like a specific drop to a hot feet, that is. And that's what I was wondering. It looks like those are done mining. They are. Cool, that was a metric shit ton of iron, actually. Holy fuck. Alright. Well, thanks to my super extractors, we have plenty of resources to fuck around with, so... And then there's still, of course, these up here. Hundred and eight coal from that, though, man. Can't really go wrong with those numbers. Well, I think this is about the time where I cut the episode, folks. Sorry if I wasn't talking too, too much during that when I was getting really into the fucking... Weirdly, I get into mining and, like, resource... Procurement is the word I'm gonna use there. In these kind of games, I just completely zone out, and I'm only focused on the game at that point, so... Sorry about that. But anyway, so, I have no idea where to go next with this one. I'm probably gonna work on some more quests the next time that I play this, but... In the meantime, may might work on the house, actually. Make it look a little prettier. So, I'll see you guys in the next part. Take it easy.